I have my new um, cam gear and uh, this from Roaster Factory and uh, and this uh, degree wheel from uh, from Fish Parts Northwest. And I need to make a piston stop to use the degree wheel. So I'm going to take one. Of, I took one of the spark plugs out of the TR6, and I'm going to on the grinder. I'm going to grind that little rolled edge off, and then the porcelain should just pop out of there. So I'm going to go over on the grinder and grind that off. So I got that far. I got that far on it. I'm going to go ahead and use a Dremel wheel and cut the rest of it off. I was starting to come up against the porcelain and I didn't want to run that in the grinder. So that's what it looks like when you've got that uh, shoulder completely ground off. Now I'm going to take a, uh, I'm going to grind the little um, uh, electrode, um, uh, the, the, the gap piece off. Basically I have the ground off. I have it ground off so you can see the white all the way, that, that little retaining ring is ground off all the way. So we'll just uh, not tighten it down all the way. And we should be able to just um, knock it out of there. So uh, now we have a, now I'll thread this and put a, uh, put the right a bolt in there and I can make my piston stop out of this. A number of different bolts. I happen to have this uh, 5 16 bolt that I threaded all the way up to build another tool for. So, uh, so that the inner hole is a little smaller in the outer hole. So I'm going to go ahead and thread the inner hole. I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and tap it to five, the 5 sixteenths UNF. Yeah, it's only putting a few threads in it, but that's really all that's needed. There's no strength required for this. Just enough so that it doesn't uh, change its relative position. There we go, one piston stop. And I think I'll, uh, I'll just take a file here and just uh, take the edge off of this so it doesn't, uh, doesn't cut. Take the burrs off of that. Okay. Good to go. One, one piston stop. 